Hey there guys, Tim Heinrich with Team Revved. Another Motivation Monday coming at you. And today I'm talking about developing a no excuses attitude. How do you do this? How do you get from I can't do it to I'm doing it every day? Now, we've all used excuses in our lives. Uh, you know, way back in school, we had excuses for why we didn't get our homework done in time, why we didn't do our chores at work, you know, assignment we didn't get done or a project, why we missed the meeting all kinds of stuff. There's always some logical reasons that we will cite for why we couldn't make this happen. And this is no more prevalent than in the area of health and fitness, doing your workouts, eating healthy. We all know we're supposed to do them. We all know they make us feel better. And yet a lot of the time it can wind up that we wind up making excuses for why we don't get it done. Yeah, I had other priorities. I had to work too long. I was too tired. My back hurts. Uh, I love potato chips too much. Like there's all kinds of great ones out there and we can justify anything. You know, anything up here can seem logical if we put enough emphasis behind it. And that is sort of the key point that I want to get to about developing a no excuses attitude is where are you putting your emphasis? What are you giving weight to? So if you think about the things in your life that you feel are standing in the way of you living this healthy lifestyle, you know, whether it be your genetics or any of your responsibilities, all the things that I just mentioned, you are giving those things more weight and more priority for that matter than you are to living a healthy lifestyle, to getting in shape, to getting those workouts done on a regular basis. And I understand a lot of those things, you get into some one of a routine with them, so you know, you know how to do them. And some of them are very important, you know, taking care of your family, going to work, all those things are important. So I'm not saying that you just get rid of those things, but you have to reprioritize to make your healthy lifestyle, doing your workout, doing right with your nutrition, eating healthy, you have to make that just as important as the other things. If you put that lowest on the totem pole, and you may not be consciously doing this, it's not like you're writing out a list and saying, eh, no, here at the bottom, workout. It's not that you're consciously doing that, but you are subconsciously doing it. You're thinking it's, it would be nice if I could do that sort of thing. Kind of like a lot of people talk about, it'd be nice if I could go on a trip to Europe. But they don't do anything to save any money to actually make it happen, so they just sort of wishfully think about it, and that means it's really not that important to them. Living this lifestyle that they become comfortable with is more important than doing the hard work it's going to take and really scrounging to see where they can save up additional money to be able to save money to make that trip or to make additional money so that they can go on that trip, have more time off, things like that. It's the same thing with the working out. And if you haven't been doing it for a while, you know, when you start it off, it's not that much fun. You know, it's hard work. It's, it's still hard work even once you've been doing it for a long time. I've been working out regularly in some form or another for most of my life, if you count sports and activities and stuff like that, and I still have to motivate myself every single day to get up. I like to do my workouts early, get up early, get it done. You know, I have on those days I'm really tired, my mind will tell me little things like, no, you should go back to bed, you're tired, you can do it later. Those are the excuses. Those are those things that are trying to push it back on my priority list and I won't let that happen because I know when I do that, ultimately, I wind up feeling worse in the day. I know that if I get up early, I do my workout, I get it done, that I'm going to feel great for the rest of the day. And that far outweighs the, the instant benefit and the instant gratification I'll get from going back to bed and feeling like I got a little bit of extra sleep. Okay? So you need to really look at where you're putting emphasis on the things in your life. And if the emphasis is too strong in areas that are not serving you, things that are keeping you from doing what you know is good for you, getting yourself in good shape, getting more healthy and fit, if you're putting emphasis on those things more, like the TV shows you want to watch after work, things like that, then you're not going to get into that lifestyle that you want. You're not going to get healthy and fit because you're not making it important. Okay? So sit down. Write out those things that you do. Write out your daily schedule, things that are in your day. See where you can trim, where you can cut, where you can put it in there and make it a priority. If you're having trouble feeling strongly about it, 
really understand why is it important for you to get healthy and fit not just because of what people say on TV or what your friends told you but why do you want to get healthy and fit what resonates with you what is your why for doing this once you connect to that that emotional reason that thing that hits you in the gut then you have your main source of motivation and that's what's going to get you up early when you don't feel like it, when it's cold out or when it's too hot in the room and you're still going to get up and you're still going to do your workout. You're still going to eat something healthy when you go out with your friends and everybody's having fried food. You choose to get something a little bit leaner. You choose not to go down that road because you have that strong why, that strong burning desire deep within you. Okay, So look at those priorities. Start to find a way to reprioritize this in your life. Get connected to your strong emotional why for why you want to get in shape and you will have much better results and you will find yourself becoming more consistent, starting to see those results that you want. And once you start to see that, then you are off to the races. The momentum is in your favor and you are on the path to where you want to be. Okay? That's what I got for you today. Thanks so much for watching. If you have comments or things to add to this, please post them up in the comments section below. I look forward to talking to you next week and have a great week, guys. Take care.